cloudy sky, nice temperature showing 86 degrees Fahrenheit. It's been a pleasure having you aboard today. We appreciate your flying winds. Faustine. Thank you. We own the main house, the house next door, and all some carriage house out back. Control for your fireplace located here. You can put it on for 30 minutes, an hour, two hours, all but that bottom. That's all you do with mashing on it. Control for your fireplace located here. You can put it on for 30 minutes, an hour, two hours, all but that bottom. That's all you do with mashing on it. Good afternoon, YouTube. Hope everyone's having a great day out there. Welcome to another episode of Life of Brian. Um, so, uh, my firm, uh, we took, or we are taking our annual um, firm retreat, and we chose Savannah this year. So, uh, I'm going to do a series of Savannah food tour videos for you guys, uh, overlooking the old historic uh, city or center, city center, from our. Um, hotel it's called the uh, Gastonian I think it's I want to say 77 it's either 77 or 177 years old one of those but um, yeah the hotel is, is, is real very nice um, again it's located in the uh, historic um, historic old town or historic center of Savannah and we're gonna go get dinner tonight at um, a restaurant called Elizabeth on 37th Street which is kind of traditional um, American food and uh, comfort food and a little bit of kind of ele elevated dining I think so I uh, won't be able to actually do much talking while I'm eating because um, you know with the uh, with the office it'll be weird if I'm talking to myself but I will give you guys impressions and thoughts um, after the meal uh, on these food vlogs um, but of course you know showing you guys videos and photos of the video and the uh, restaurants so uh, hope you guys enjoy the series uh, hoping to eat a lot of good food in the next couple of days and I uh, hope you guys come along so if you guys didn't already realize how much of a food addict and foodie I am, um, we're waiting to leave for dinner in about 20 minutes, but I was starving. So I actually ordered a, an Uber Eats order from a, um, a restaurant called uh, Simple Soul of Savannah. Um, apparently they're very well known for their fried chicken. So I'm actually waiting for the Uber delivery driver to show up to taste some of this chicken and then leave in a few minutes to go eat. So um, I'm really looking forward to this chicken. I'm starving. So let's see how everything looks and tastes. All right, we have the fried chicken in hand. Let's see how this tastes. So we got the fried chicken, broccoli cheese casserole, and mac and cheese. And it looks and smells pretty good, but it has been sitting in a box for a few minutes, so hopefully it's still pretty crispy. Okay, we're gonna dig in here because we literally have five minutes before we have to leave for dinner. So let's try the mac and cheese first. Mac and cheese is pretty tasty. Let's try the broccoli cheese casserole. Not bad, pretty good, pretty tasty. Uh, let's try a piece of their fried chicken. This looks aggressively crispy, which is definitely right up my alley. Pretty good, not too salty, not too peppery.
breading is good. Also comes with uh, white rice. For a quick pre-dinner meal, it's pretty good. Simple soul, simple soul food of Savannah, I think it's called. So I managed to scarf down like a third of this plate, guys, in under 30 seconds because I'm starving. But yeah, it's really, really good. Wasabi cream to the side. You're gonna present it like this, Boston? Mm -hmm. Yeah. <laughs> right. Have a friend do it. It was very amazing. Yeah. No, I don't have any kids on it. I know, like, this trip looks kind of plain. Hey guys, so we just got back from the uh, restaurant, Elizabeth on 37th Street. And it was a, a fixed menu uh, because there was 14 of us. So we weren't able to order a la carte. So I'm not really sure if that made a difference, but um, quite honestly, I was not that impressed by the food. Um, overall, I'd give it maybe a four, four and a half out of 10. Um, ironically, the, the best course, the best dish was the appetizer course. Um, there was a mussel, there was um, I forgot there's like a fried cheese, almost tasted kind of like a uh, uh, one of those cheesy crab ragoon thing crackers that you get at Chinese restaurants. But um, yeah, the appetizer is pretty good, but everything else was kind of subpar. Um, the last uh, course we had, which was kind of like a filet, it was medium rare, which is a little bit un, you know more on the rare side than I tend to like. It was okay, um, but everything else was kind of either mediocre or a little bit below mediocre. So in terms of the price, um, I was a little bit disappointed. Um, it is kind of pricey. Uh, again, it was a fixed menu, it was a seven course meal, but um, service was very nice, service was good. The restaurant's kind of like in an old mansion, you know, very beautiful, but the food, just the flavor, the taste was not there. And uh, even in terms of presentation, some of it was sloppy, some of it was not very uniform um, coming out for everyone. So um, yeah, I cannot recommend Elizabeth on 30. Uh, 37th, 31st, my, my brain's all mush right now because it's kind of late, but I cannot recommend it. Um, so I don't know if I would ever um, go back there if, if I'm ever back in Savannah, but you know, you definitely you guys should go and um, try it out for yourself and uh, see if it's up to your liking. But again, just for value, bang on your buck. Um, maybe if, if the, uh, the overall price point was a little bit more, um, not affordable, but you know, obviously, you know, pay for good food, that sort of deal, pay for good service. And again, service was good, but yeah, the, the taste um, just was not there on, I'd say probably six out of the seven courses. So a little bit disappointed, but you know, hey, um, makes you just kind of look forward to your next meal. Um, and uh, there'll be plenty of more opportunities to get some good food here in Savannah. So looking forward to that and hoping that our next meal is a little bit better than tonight's meal. So hope you guys um, like the video, give it a thumbs up, comment below, like, and subscribe, support the channel. And I'll catch you guys on the next video as the Savannah food tour continues. Have a good night guys. Bye-bye.